Hi guys, Paul here again. Welcome back to a, another weekly review video. I'm going to go back over uh, my match day profits uh, bets, which I shared over the last week. So these are all advantage play bets where we look to take advantage of the bookmakers' uh, offers. That's um, bet and get offers, enhanced odds, and um, refund offers, that kind of thing. Operating only a small number of accounts, um, very easy to do. So let's just have a look, see how we've done over the last week. So it was a um, uh, a light betting week because we're in the international break, so we didn't have a lot of football to go at. Um, so we knew there wasn't going to be much action from the start. Uh, that said, uh, it did turn out to be another profitable week. Um, the the good uh, most of the profit come from a winning darts bet we had on uh, the Thursday. So we have a go at this offer, which is um called Golden Arrows from Bet MGM, and they give us a hundred percent price boost on the uh, Premier League darts which they sponsor. So we got a double up. Uh, which paid um, nearly 11 to 1 in the end. and So that was a lot of fun. That made us about £54 profit, I think. Um, yeah, I like the darts. It's um, it's not fantastic betting medium, I don't think, because there's just a lot of luck involved. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't really know anyone that does it professionally. But when you've got the advantage of, like, a free bet or a 100% boost, um, yeah, it's worth getting involved. And uh, yeah, I think it's a lot of fun to watch. Um, yes, yeah, good spectators bought darts. That was a bit of fun on the Thursday. Not much else um, during the week. We did have quite a lot of weekend racing offers. Um, we did put together a sevenfold um, with a lot of the non-league stuff. Um, I think we've only got, I think we got about four right on that. To be honest with you, that was um, we didn't have an accumulator with Ladbrokes because I just I, I wanted to keep the stakes just down to five pound. Um, on the sevenfold, um, again that was boosted from that was a fifty percent boost we get on this offer on seven folds. That's why we have a go at that because you, you got a little bit of an edge there. And um, yeah, that was about eleven to one as well, but that was no good. So I'll, I'll keep this short and just go over the, um, the whole the whole week's betting on the uh, spreadsheet. Just go out of this members area, and um, yeah, so the week. Between the week covered the 18th to the 24th, and you can see I've just highlighted everything we've done in that week. And um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but bottom right of the screen, the sum of the week's profits was £29.86. We did actually make a bit more than that though, because we had the returns come in from um, an anti post boost on Ireland to win the Six Nations. Uh, got 16 to 5, again with Bet MGM on that. So that returned £32. I'll show you that on the sheet. I think it was February, start of February. That was placed. Uh, where is it? There. There we, there we are. So uh, £32 profit from that bet added to this week's tally uh, gives us a total profit on the week of £61.86. And that brings the total profit pot uh, for the season up to £1,223.65. So sitting quite nicely there. Um, a nice little bit of profit from, yeah, what accounts to just just a few bets each week. You know, if you're following these, and, and um, so I, I put a bit of work into them because I, I like to do the research and, yeah, it's, you know, I'm run, I run it as a business. And you know, it's also a hobby for me. It gives me something to do. Um, if you're following them, it really is only going to take you minutes to get on these bets. As long as you sort of follow me on Twitter and get on the website when I when I post them, it really is only going to take you a few minutes to uh, to follow them. Um, yes, yeah, so that said, um, it was pretty quiet week, profitable anyway. Um, this week we're still in the international break, so um, not much else going on. Um, I'm actually away the next the, the weekend as well, so um, I'm not sure if we're going to do another video next week or whether or not there'll be even many bets over the next week. I did have a quick look at the Premier League, so we'll have a look at that now. Um, that's coming back. Um, yeah, Premier League starts again on Saturday, 30th of March. It does actually look what they would call a trappy card in racing. It is. There's a lot of really um, well-matched 
uh, teams here. So this is um, yeah, I don't. There's nothing really stands out anyway at the prices. So I think it it might be a weekend, another weekend just to to, to watch, but or not not to get involved in too heavily. But um, yeah, because you've got a lot of um, evenly matched uh, teams, as I say. Uh, anything around when the home team is uh, around slightly odds on or even money, that means the teams are quite equally matched. It's just the home advantage which makes the home team so short. So when you look at Forest against Palace here, Forest of five to four. Now that typically means that they're rating both teams very closely. Um, when when the home team is ten to eleven, they're rating them as 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 better than the away team by just a small margin. So. You can see you've got Forest Palace quite evenly matched. Bournemouth Everton are quite the book, bookmakers struggling to, to split these as, in terms of the uh, team's ability. Um, you've only really got Tottenham at home and Chelsea at home, which are looking like, um, yeah, you've got strong home favourites. Um, but yeah, does anyone really want to back Chelsea in the league at short prices after what they've done this season? And um, Luton, as you say, they they are they've tended to score, haven't they? So. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Um, Villa, I would have liked Villa at home, perhaps if Wolverhampton was still in the FA Cup. But now they're out of the FA Cup, and Villa with a lot of injuries, they're not very solid, are they? So, um, Man United away, I've chipped up on them a few times this season. And then you've got the big game, uh, Man City against Arsenal. So, And as I say, they're, they're, they're ranking Man City only just slightly ahead of Arsenal at the moment. So... Again, quite difficult. Um, Liverpool got a tough, tough game as well, home to uh, to Brighton. So, yeah, probably good weekend for the spectating. Quite a difficult one to uh, to work out from a betting perspective. Um, maybe the shrewd punters will be on the draws. Um, a few draws. I mean, City Arsenal wouldn't surprise me if that was a draw at all. Uh, yeah, just to quickly show you what what sort of research I do um, on. Um, this website, uh, soccer stats, sort of things I'll look at, um, along with like the team news and and just a general uh, uh, form and things like that. Um, look at say um, Bournemouth against Everton. Um, you can see that um, and Bournemouth first of all, let's load up Bournemouth. It shows you this uh, results matrix, which is quite quite useful to see how they've fared against teams in different positions in the league particularly this time of the season when we're you've got quite you know you're three quarters of the way through so you've got a lot of a lot of games already played um, you can see Bournemouth haven't lost against anyone outside the top uh, nine in the table uh, at home they've got quite a solid record but they've only won they've won three out of seven against teams a uh, tenth and below Everton are obviously in the bottom half um, so they've not done too badly, um, and you know, run into a bit of form of late. They've, but they've only beaten Burnley and um, and Luton. So these they're, they're quite a weak sort of home favourite, I would say. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to back them at six to five. Everton, though, reasons you, you to counter that the reasons you would want to back um, Bournemouth. If you look at Everton's away form, just their form overall, they've, they've not won since the sixteenth of December, and away from home. One, two, three, four, five, six. They've literally scored two goals away from home since since the sixteenth of December. So it's scored two twice in six away games. So you know, can you can you trust Everton? Uh, you know, that said, Everton have um, they're, they're unbeaten away from home against uh, every all the teams in the bottom half. Um, they've got four wins. So <laughs> there's a lot of contradictory form. So it's, yeah, so it's quite a home, uh, quite a difficult one. Um, if you look at Villa, Villa at home against Wolves. Uh, Villa's Villa, yeah, started very strong at home, didn't they? But they've they have um, they lost to Tottenham and and Man United. Um, so they've lost two of the last three at home now. Um, and uh, yeah, they're very solid against the bottom half at home. They've been this season against the top half. They have lost three. Um, and they've won four so yeah um, 
they should be beating Wolves really I suppose on, on, on form but again they've got, they got no, no McGinn no, no Kamara um, I think they've got defenders out as well potentially so yeah I'm not sure I'd be wanting to get involved at 4 to 6 they might actually drift if they even money I'd probably be interested so yeah that's just me thoughts on the weekend if I was just having a bet now I'd probably be looking at uh, draws probably draws at um, probably be looking at the draw in the Man City game and and the um, uh, Bournemouth Everton game uh, but yeah no rule uh, solid uh, bets or, or, or um, picks for the weekend um, yeah so I'll, uh, I'll wrap this up now and um, crack on next weekend uh, yeah that's all thanks for watching bye for now